morning, Tim. It's uh, Saturday, the 25th, and I'm heading out for my Saturday long run. I've got 15 miles planned in the Gallons Todd range, so you've seen that before. I'll be running Jocelyn and also Holmes Peak. It's an out and back, so once I uh, get beyond Holmes Peak, I'll turn around at about mile oh, seven and a half or eight, and then I'll get an even 16 miles in by the end of the day. So, got 41 degrees, so chilly morning, but should be good though. So I'll give it a go and uh, see you at the trailhead. So this is the start of the uphill section. So I got about 1,500 feet of this. It's pretty chilly. Feels just like yesterday when uh, we were here last together in the summer. Uh, Tim, that hill is relentless. I don't, remember, I don't know if you remember it, but it is long. So, anyways, got a small stretch here that's pretty flat, which is a huge relief on my calves. Check out the sexy trail. Made it to Squally Reach. Fist bump. Took me about 20 minutes. Wow, it actually snowed last night up high. That's unreal. So there's the Georgia Strait. Looking towards Salt Spring Island there on the horizon. And this is uh, the Finlayson Arm. Climb's not over yet. Got a lot more to do, but feeling good. My legs are a bit knackered. Whenever I've run this hit, this uh, trail in the past, I've always had some pretty good, uh, like low mileage leading up to it. But uh, this week I've were, I'm already at 30 miles, so my legs are knackered. They're feeling it on the hills the most. But anyways, I'm gonna turn around and head back to the main trail and see if I can get Jocelyn Hill here in the next half hour. Check out this awesome trail. I love this run. Feeling good. Making some progress towards Jocelyn. Getting a little overgrown here. Soggy too. I don't mind. Still just a bit of fog on the mountain, but you can start to see the sun poking through. Might turn out to be sunny by the afternoon.
You know, I remember in the summer making fun of your slick shoes on Ben Lomond. But I have to say, I've been wearing a pair of shoes that have no tread on them for all winter. So I definitely have no room to talk. It's slippery on these sloppy trails and I, if I'm not careful, go sliding everywhere. Here we come, Jocelyn Hill. Starting to see some sun. Good stuff. Usually I'm solar powered. Run much better with some sun on my back. Sexy morning for a run. Hey Tim, I don't know if you remember, but last summer this is where we took your picture. Uh, I can tell because it's got Ben's name on it. So, Ben's tree. Good stuff. Almost there. bump on the horizon is Mount Finlayson. Steep little son of a gun. And here's Holmes Peak over there. About 10 minutes beyond schedule. So I need to make up some ground. Just eating a uh, turkey and avocado wrap for lunch. It's awesome. This baby's got homemade turkey that we cooked up last Sunday and uh, some avocado and sweet onion dressing. So looking forward to this lunch and I think it'll put me to the end. Well, Earth to Tim, the deliciousness has landed. did the trick. I feel like a million bucks. Should be able to uh, make my goal today, no problem. You can hear me slipping. These shoes are toast. About a quarter mile from the base of uh, Holmes Peak, so getting there.
It's a big tree. All right, I'm on the summit of Holmes Peak. Just about. Now I'm on the summit. So here's Tail Pike. So I've done the full uh, Gallant Todd Trail or the Timberman Trail. And now I'm at my halfway mark and I have to turn around and go all the way back. My legs are spent. It's going to be a long haul back and my wife's going to be upset because I told her I'd be home an hour earlier than I'm going to be. Sorry V, but if I push hard maybe I can cut that time down a little bit. Just finished Holmes Peak again. so. I'm on my way to summit, jostling for the second time and pushing as hard as I can. Asked to not worry my wife, but she's still gonna be worried. I'll have to move. This hill is relentless. My legs are feeling it. I'm starting to really just power hike all the uphills now. It's slowing me down a bit. I think these vultures can smell me from here. I smell like death, so they're circling. Hey Tim, <clears throat> I just summited Jocelyn again. So that's my last summit. Whew. Feels great, this bump. My legs are knackered. But the majority of it's downhill now. There's a few more little rolling hills, but I can handle those. So I just need to make tracks. Folly Reach, just about there. One big downhill and then about a mile and a half of uh, flat. That's 16 miles and about 4,000 feet in the Gallon Todd Range on the Timberman Trail. My Saturday long run, the end of my week, finished up with 46 miles. So next week I'm going to definitely cut mileage down. Well, I'm heading home. Um, I'm really spent. My legs are toast, but in a good way. I feel really good about that run. It felt great. And actually, I was probably the least tired I've ever been on that tail end. I was able to run pretty strong right up until my car. So I must be uh, getting some endurance built up finally. So anyways, I'll uh, talk to you uh, next week with my uh, down week.